Thee not, therefore pursue me not. Where is Lysander? In fair Hermia, the one I'll slay, the other slayeth me. Thou toldst me they had stolen unto these woods, and here am I, and woed within these woods, because I cannot meet my Hermia. Hence, get thee gone, and follow me no more. Oh, you draw me, you hard-hearted adamant, but yet you draw not iron for my heart is true as steel. Leave you your power to draw, and I shall have no power to blow you. Do I entice you? Do I speak you fair? Or do I not in plainest truth tell you? I do not, nor I cannot love you. And even for that do I love you the more. I am your spaniel, and Demetrius, the more you beat me, I will fawn on you. Use me but as your spaniel. Strike me, Spurn me, neglect me, lose me, only gives me leave. Unworthy as I am to follow you. In what worse place can I be in to beg in your love and yet have such high respect to be used as you use your dog? Tempt not too much the hatred of my spirit, for I am sick when I do look on thee. And I am sick when I look not on thee! You do impeach your modesty too much to leave the city? and commit yourself into the hands of one who loves you not, to trust the opportunity of night and the ill counsel of a desert place with the rich worth of your virginity? Your virtue is my privilege. And Demetrius, <laughs> I know it is not night when I look upon thee. Ugh. I'll run from thee and hide me in the brakes and leave thee to the mercy of wild beasts. <laughs> The wildest has not such a heart as yours. Apollo flies, and Daphne holds the chase. The dove pursues the griffin, and the wild hind makes speed to catch the tiger. I will not stand thy questions. Let me go. Or, if thou shalt follow me, do not believe, but I shall do thee mischief in the wood. Fly, Demetrius! <laughs> Your wrongs have set a scandal on my sex. I shall follow you and make heaven of hell to die upon the hand I love so well. 